Welcome to The Determined Mom Show, the only marketing podcast dedicated to guiding mom CEOs into tranquility, wealth, and multiplying those precious moments. Welcome to episode 199 of The Determined Mom Show. I am your host, Amanda Tento, and I am very excited to be talking to you about step number two in your proven marketing system, which is SEO. If you have not listened to episode 195 or 197, go ahead and make sure you go back and listen to those. You don't have to listen to them in any particular order, but it's definitely important that to get the idea of what we're talking about today, you go back to at least episode 195, which is an overview of those six steps that get you more customers easily in a proven marketing system. So that's what we're talking about today. And SEO is the topic. So SEO is one of those things that is completely overwhelming to most people. There's so many components to it. There's so many aspects. There's on page, there's off page. There's just so many different things that go into SEO and SEO is search engine optimization for those who are not sure of what it is yet. And if you're just starting out, everybody starts somewhere. So I totally had no idea what SEO is about six years ago, seven years ago, when I was working as a manager at a credit union, I didn't care what SEO was. I had no inkling about what it was. I had no use for it. When you're a business owner, when you have your own website, that changes dramatically. You need your website to be able to get found by the people that are searching for the things that you offer, whether it be services, whether it be products, you need your website to be found. And you do this by optimizing the content, the mainly it's almost all content. I will say it's almost all content by optimizing the words, the pictures, the plugins, the everything that's on your website in order to get that information out there get Google loving your information, get Google understanding what you want to be showing up for, what services you're offering and get you into that search ranking. We want you to be on page one, obviously, because like they say, anything that's on page two is basically never going to be seen on Google because people don't go to page two. 97% of people do not go to page two of Google results. I do often just because I'm usually doing research for a client or for myself on keywords or on what is ranking, but most people don't go to page two. So in this proven marketing system that we're talking about over this series, your website is the cornerstone. Your website is where everything begins. Your website is also where everything ends. So that's where You want people to either start on your website or end on your website, whatever it might be. You always want them to go back to your website and with search engine optimization, you can manipulate the content of your website. And this is going to be words. So you're going to make sure you're paying attention to your keyword count, your titles, your website name, for example, the title of each page, the title of your subtitles, everything you need to pay attention to. You want to think of each page on your website as its own world. Every page has its own little world and you want to make sure that that world is complete. Make sure that world is spinning correctly. And as long as you do that for every single page on your website overall will be healthy. It will be seen in Google's eyes as optimized and ready to be presented to a customer. Google is not going to share your website if it's slow. Google is not going to show your website if it's not mobile friendly. Google is not going to show your website if there is very little keyword content on it. I've seen a lot of websites in the last year that basically the content is created by an agency that's not necessarily versed in SEO. And what happens is there's just nothing on there. It's just fluffy keywords about we'll do this for you, or we'll do that for you, but it doesn't actually talk about the problem that the customer's having. It doesn't actually talk about the services, which is what they're going to be searching for. It doesn't talk about any of those things. So there's zero content on the website 
that would give Google any indication that it should be ranking. So I'm not sure, it's just not possible to rank with a website like that. So it's really important to make sure that you're giving the right signals for your website. On episode 187, we talked about your website, talked about some of the different options for hosting your website. We didn't actually talk about hosting options, which maybe I should talk about that now. But my recommendation of choice, because you can manipulate everything about the website, you can control every single aspect of every single part of your website is WordPress and not wordpress.com, by the way, this is where it gets a little complicated. And I think I have an episode somewhere that is that details all of the intricacies of WordPress and the differences, but basically a little overview is that you would want to first start with your domain. Obviously you need to choose your domain. I always, rec- I always buy all of my domains in Namecheap. So I have them all in the same place very affordable. Usually you can get a domain for five bucks or three bucks if they have a sale or something. So you've got your domain name and part choosing your domain name is also part of your SEO. So for example, if you're a chiropractor in, I don't know, Houston, Texas, right? If you choose the name of your company, which could be like Smith family chiropractic, that's great. And if someone's searching for your brand name, they're going to find it. However, if they're searching for chiropractor in Houston, you could literally buy the domain chiropractor in Houston, and you would get a lot more traffic initially just by choosing the right domain name. So that is also part of the SEO process. So if you're starting from scratch, this is a great episode for you to listen to because you're going to be able to get that right foundation from the beginning. Okay. If you are not starting from scratch, don't worry about that part of it. It's still possible to rank, but it's easier if you have a great SEO keyword in your domain name. So skipping ahead, we've chosen our domain name. We've bought it and you can find domain names a million different places. Again, Namecheap is my favorite. The next step is going to be to choose a hosting platform. This is basically, so you've chosen your address, which is your domain name. So you think about a house, we're building a house. So we've chosen our address. We've purchased the land for our domain name. Now we need to, I guess it would be more like rent the land, right? So we're going to rent the land from someone. So we need to rent the space on the internet to present our home. Our home is going to be the website. So we're presenting our home on a plot of land. So we're purchasing this land. So the host of your website is going to be the person you're purchasing this plot of land from. My preference is always dream host because they're a customer service is amazing. B they are very easy to build on. See, you can get a VPN, which is a virtual or a VPS, sorry, a VPS, which is a virtual private server. Okay. For the cost of a shared server on another host. So with a shared server, you're sharing a website you're sharing a server with many other websites. So there could be a dozen websites on the server with you. And if their performance peaks one day, your performance is going to drop because they're gonna be plugging up all of the traffic. With a virtual private server, you get a dedicated server that's just for you. You can, they'll allocate a certain amount of space for you and you can build as many websites as you want within that space. You'll have a certain capacity, all of that stuff, but you're the only one on there. That is what I always recommend because you don't want to have to reinvent the wheel. You don't want to have to move hosts. You don't want to have to do all of that stuff over and over until you find the right thing. It's better to set things up correctly from the beginning. So again, I choose Namecheap for my domain purchases, DreamHost for the hosting. And then now you come to installing WordPress. So you can just install that right from DreamHost. They'll 
install it for you. You just log in right there. They create a login for you and then you are ready to go. So now you have to choose a theme. The theme that I recommend is Divi because it's very easy. It's very user-friendly and it's no longer super bloated like it used to be. So it doesn't take up a lot of resources like it used to, but it's also very visual for someone that hasn't built in WordPress before. It's way easier than like the Gutenberg Gutenberg editor. It's way easier than Elementor. It's way easier than Thrive. It's just very easy to use. So I recommend that. And we build all of the customer, our, we build all of our client websites in Divi because we can easily provide tutorial videos. There's so much information out there. If you want to make a quick change on YouTube, as to how to change something, very easy for ongoing management as well. So now you have your website set up. Very important to note that every single title that you use for a web page is important. Every single subtitle is important. All of your text is important. Everything about your website is important. Your image sizes, your image type your image, everything about your image, your alt text. So the alt text is the text that you put in that your alt text is the text that you put in that describes the picture or the video that you're putting in. All of this is incredibly important. Your meta description is also important. Your meta description is the little tiny description that you can actually put in using one of the SEO plugins, either Yoast or my new favorite is Rank Math. Thank you, Jess. Rank Math will allow you to edit your meta description and it will allow you to choose what is going to show on Google search engine for that page. Google doesn't always choose your meta description to use, but they're going to pull some sort of excerpt from your text and you want to have control over that because it's going to give more information about what you should actually be saying about your website or about that web page. So there's so many different components of SEO that is really important. So it is important that you make sure that you're doing the right things for your business and for your website from the beginning, instead of having to go back and either hire someone to go through and clean up a mess or to try to clean that mess up yourself. So very important part of your proven marketing system is step number two, which is SEO. If you have any questions about it, if you need any help with it, we are here at TDM Marketing to help, but the goal of this is really education. So we want to help you to learn what these steps are in a proven marketing system, because I'm just tired of seeing businesses spinning their wheels on social media and just not getting anywhere and thinking that they're doing the right thing and it's just not working for them. That's not true. So we want you to know the truth. If you would like to download the six marketing musts that are guaranteed to get you more customers, you can go ahead and do that. The link is in the show notes and looking forward to talking to you for the next episode. See you soon. Thank you for listening to the Determined Mom Show. We appreciate you and we would love for you to leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. This will help us reach as many other moms as we can. Don't forget to download your 10 things you should be doing to get more clients from Google search guide at rebrand.ly forward slash Google 10.